Hello, Winter Dreamers. I'm Tata Royals, and today I invite you to join me in celebrating the season of soft snowflakes, crackling fires, and the enchanting hush that blankets the world. Welcome to a journey of romanticizing winter. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the art of finding warmth in the cold, joy in the stillness, and the undeniable magic that winter whispers to those who listen closely. Close your eyes and imagine a world painted in shades of white and silver, where every snowflake is a love note from the sky, and each breath you take holds the promise of cozy, comforting adventure. Today, we'll explore ways to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary, from creating a winter haven at home to finding the poultry in a snow-covered landscape. It's about cherishing the moments that winter graciously bestows upon us. Whether you're a winter enthusiast or someone seeking to embrace the magic of the season, I'm thrilled to have you here. Together, let's discover the romance woven into the frosty air, the charm-tucked woolen scarves, and the love story that unfolds with each snowfall. I'm Tata Royals, and this is our journey into romanticizing winter. So grab your favorite blanket, a cup of something warm, and let's immerse ourselves in the cozy magic this season has to offer. Make sure you're subscribed and let's go. Hey beautiful souls, it's Tata Royals and welcome back to another royal video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to romanticize the winter and ways you can do it. So we're just going to dive right deep into it because we're in a season where there's so many things going on. It's either people are getting sick, people are buying gifts for somebody, people need to give gifts to someone else, people need to receive gifts, people try to plan the New Year's party, people, families are coming over or they have to travel out of town to see their family. It's just a busy, hectic time, hectic time of the year, so a lot of people don't know what to do. But some things you should do and not just want to feel like, oh my god, I have to be inside the house because it's cold. You should embrace the winter and just enjoy the winter. So today I'm going to show you guys how to romanticize the winter. Basically make the winter be this beautiful winter wonderland you see in movies and you see in like TV shows. Make that come to mind. We're going to start with indoor winter activities you can do. So the first thing we're going to do is baking. Romanticizing baking in the winter I think is the best time because you want something warm, cozy, sweet, and just fresh from the kitchen. This is also a great time to learn a new way to bake or a new baking recipe that you've probably always been trying. Just simply go on Pinterest or Google or any recipe you've seen on YouTube and just try it out. It makes it so much fun. You can do this with friends and it's just a vibe for the winter, especially fresh baked cookies or pastries and with a glass of milk in the winter is such a vibe. So another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is have an indoor movie marathon. And this means watching all the Christmas movies back to back or watching all the winter movies back to back. And there's so many Christmas and winter movies like Snow Dogs, um, Home Alone, and the list goes on. Like there's so much movies you can do this with and I just love doing that. I do that almost every year, just have a winter marathon and just chill with my sisters or a friend or whatever, just got some hot chocolate and get just get some hot chocolate popcorn and just have a winter movie marathon. Another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is have a board game or puzzle. Like having a puzzle that you finish during the end of the winter is such a vibe or just having a winter themed like picture at the end. But doing a puzzle, playing a board game is just so accomplishing especially when you finish a puzzle that had so many pieces. I feel like it's one of the best feelings ever when it's fully finished and you see the full picture of whatever it is. But usually you would do like a Christmas or like winter theme so it fits the vibe of the year. Another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is do DIY crafts as in making your own stocking stuffers or making your own ornaments or things like that or just making anything that you know you won't really do in the other seasons, but making it from scratch is so much fun and it's such a vibe. You can also do this with your friends, which makes it even funner. Another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is to romanticize your space, as in decorating your space for the winter or Christmas time. Because when it's winter, 
you know it's cold people actually spend more time inside so this is the best time to decorate your house do a winter wonderland theme or do a christmas theme if you're more of a christmas person or if you celebrate christmas or just stick to the winter theme things and just decorating your space your room your counters i'm talking about your kitchen your bathroom and just making everything a winter wonderland theme thing just makes it feel such a vibe one more thing i want to say real quick about the um marathon movie marathon you can call me a hallmark slash lifetime girl in the winter because those two networks are like my best friends in the winter because they have so many cozy christmas or winter love stories and it's just a cute romantic just you know movie and is so i i'm obsessed so lifetime and hallmark movies are it especially in the winter another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is have a hot chocolate bar i'm talking about have a corner in your counter where you have all the hot chocolates the flavors and you have different toppings like marshmallows sprinkles maybe chocolate syrup maybe caramel like make it a vibe make it makes you want to just grab a nice hot cup of cocoa and just have it, have it just to have it or you can invite friends over and they see that station and it's just such a cute vibe like you can go on pinterest and stuff they have so many other ways you can like decorate that area and it makes you just be in that winter spirit the whole point of having this romanticizing the winter thing is to literally have the winter wonderland of your dreams make that your reality like what you see on movies and tv make it your reality in winter it makes you enjoy the winter and makes it makes it, it makes it feel more special another thing to romanticize the, the winter and this is a little thing is basically sitting next to a fireplace and reading a book reading a book next to a fireplace is such a, a vibe it's so calming and cozy and it's just something that you see a lot of people do in movies like getting a nice warm cup of hot cocoa getting a cozy book and a blanket and just reading next to the fireplace is just such a little vibe and that's a little thing you can do to enjoy the winter a little bit more another thing you can do since you are spending well most people are spending a lot of time in the house you can do a spa day get your nails done in your house pamper yourself and just feel the best you ever did and like you can actually take your time because you're spending like that whole day in the house which makes it even more fun and it makes it such a like personal fun winter little thing and i love doing like winter nails like in the the, the winter like themed you can do like the blue with the light the white snowflakes with the baby blue i feel like that's such a cute winter thing or you could do the red and the white for the christmas and it's just so many cute winter nails you can do for the winter so now we're going to go to the outdoor activities you can do in the winter and i'm talking about the winter outdoor activities is so much fun and people are so like they're sleeping on the winter activities so the first thing i'm talking about is getting a cabin like getting a cabin like renting it for like three days or airbnb or something or for a weekend with your friends is such a vibe like taking the instagram pictures with the clean snow with the trees with snow all over it and like the cabin in the background i saw so many girls on instagram take pictures like that and i want to do that like i would literally try to plan the cabin trip because i just want those pictures and it's such a vibe because it makes you enjoy the winter you just feel like a winter wonderland with your friends and that's another great thing to romanticize the winter get a cabin trip with your friends or your boyfriend or whoever and just have fun and take beautiful aesthetic pictures another thing that i really want to do and i think this is the best way to romanticize the winter is go skiing or snowboarding that's definitely on my list of winter activity things to do this is so much fun especially if you've never done it before i haven't done it but you would just have so much fun doing this with your friends or whoever and it's just a vibe and it gets you in that winter fun spirit yes it's cold but it's like a memory that you'll create forever and you just will always cherish it another thing is ice skating and that's something i'm actually planning on doing this week for the first time I've never been ice skating i might record it i might not um sorry guys for the quick outfit change i literally had to go somewhere after this so we're just gonna act like that didn't happen so the community and festive activities is another thing you can do to rom romanticize the winter and just feel more in the winter spirit with people so the first thing you can do is go to winter festivals and markets and a lot of these winter festivals and markets usually happen in the city or in towns and they host these beautiful um, festival where they're selling things and people are all getting together getting hot cocoa looking at the lights and stuff like that and usually like music playing 
or it's just a fun vibe. And New York has a pretty one that I really want to attend because it's so pretty and there's just so many aesthetic pictures you can take and it's all Christmassy and just beautiful and it's such a fun vibe. Like, so I feel like Christmas in New York is just magical. Like you guys know what I'm saying. The New York Christmas time and just being there around the holidays is just so magical and everything just looks so fun like out of a Hallmark movie, literally. Another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is go on a Christmas light tour. Basically, these places are going to host the biggest light event and you guys can walk through or you guys can ride through, depending on where you're going. And the suburbs do this really nice. They go really hard because it's actually people decorating their houses and making it, it's like a competition. Like people want to have the best lit house or property in the town. So the suburbs really go hard when it comes to the Christmas light tours and the city have their own thing too. But I feel like the suburbs just, you know, they just go a little bit harder. But the city also, you can find places in the city that have light tours or like light events where you guys just look at the pretty lights that everybody has put out at that time of the year. Another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is attend a winter concert or play and that's something I'm doing right now. I'm trying to go to a Nutcracker play. I don't know if it's New York or New Jersey, one of them, but I definitely want to go there, dress up really nice with my friend or my cousin and just look really cute and watching a beautiful play and I just love concerts and, play like, and plays around this time. Everything is just so magical, everything is so festive and everybody's just always happy and it's just... Uh, I just love plays. So this is a great thing you can do to romanticize your winter, go with your friend, significant other, or even by yourself and just vibe out and enjoy the plays because they're really magical. So yeah. Another thing, another activity you can do to like basically feel like you actually help is do volunteering work in the winter because a lot of families or people just are in need and they don't have blankets or socks or food for this holiday season. And it would be just if you feel so good just helping someone out in times that are really tough like this. And I know everyone doesn't have the means to get the presents they want for their kids and stuff like that. So going volunteering, finding places where you can actually give presents to kids and just, you know, help out someone in this time of the year is something that will make you just feel so good. Another thing you can do to romanticize the winter is attend a sporting event. Yes, I'm talking about sporting event. And I know girls, you know, we're not about, we don't really know about sports and like football and all the, the points and the rules and stuff. We're just there because it's pretty to take pictures or our boyfriends are there. Literally, that's the only reason. And I feel like that's the perfect time to enjoy the winter, go out with your friends, your boyfriend, and just have a vibe at a sports event, get some treats, dress up, look cute, take pictures. It makes you just feel like you were productive in the winter and you can look back and say, wow, I did this last year in the winter and I did this. Like that winter season was one to remember. Last but not least, another way you can romanticize the winter is planning a New Year's Eve party. Not host, I mean, not attending one, hosting one in your house. I feel like that's the most fun part about the year you're ending it with people you love you can invite your friends people you love like whoever you want to invite and just end the new year's right with the right people around you like decorating and planning parties and stuff like that is my favorite thing to do yes it's stressful but i feel like it's more fun than stressful when you're like more organized and stuff but decorating and hosting and just having the cute little um table decorated the plates and the napkins all cute with a bow on it and it's just like all christmasy or winter vibe like i'm obsessed with hosting like i know when i move out i'm definitely gonna be hosting so much like just having these cute aesthetic little parties so i feel like that's a nice way to end the winter of romanticizing thing or that's a good way to like ha give it a good bang so guys, that's it for today's video. I'm so happy that I gave you guys a list of things to do so you guys can feel more involved in the winter and not just be home just bundled up and just that's it because it's cold outside and just learn ways to enjoy the winter and make memories in the winter and romanticize the winter. So if you guys like any of the ideas or have any questions, leave it in the comment below. I will be checking them and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we're just going to be having a vibe here that you don't want to miss out on. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video.